What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. During the laning phase, if you intend to win your lane, you need to make plays and play aggressive as often as possible so you can push your advantage. However, you shouldn't just wait until you're in a good situation. Rather, you want to control the lane and put yourself in a situation where you can play aggressive. And that is what controlling aggression in lane is all about. Now when it comes to controlling aggression in lane, it's mostly about understanding the way space works. The way you handle your space in lane is usually going to be what dictates aggression. Now, as a general rule of thumb, relative to where you are in the lane, the space you have ahead of you is going to be your aggressive space, as you can use that space to engage a fight or trade with your opponents, while the room you have behind you is your defensive space, as you can use that to kite or avoid your opponents. Now, due to the way the lanes are, you are pretty much always going to have infinite space behind you, unless you're being tower dived. So it's much more about who has more aggressive space rather than who has more defensive space. If you push the lane, despite the fact that you have all this room behind you since the lane is pushed, the opponents can still easily initiate onto you because they have so much aggressive space to move forward and engage. However, all of this space is also heavily affected by the location of the minions. You might be pushed into your tower, but if there's a huge creep wave, your aggressive space is still almost zero. Unless you have an ally coming in for a gank, since the creeps are going to cramp you up, and ignoring a huge wave for a potential fight is not really worth it. Moving past the creep wave is pretty much always an incredibly aggressive move, and will often backfire in a straight up 2v2 or 1v1 unless you have a significant reason to do so. So in order to counteract that, a big part of this aggression is doing it the instant that the creeps die or when they won't get in the way. In addition to that, other advantages such as health, mana, items, and cooldowns affect aggression as well, and if one side has a big enough advantage in one or many of those categories, they can ignore things like the creeps, and that creates a lot more aggressive space for them, whereas if you're at a disadvantage, your aggressive space is going to be really small. So in order to manage your space and control aggression, you need to first think what kind of aggression you want. If you just want to poke, then maybe pushing the lane to cramp up your opponents is going to be a good idea. Just make sure to ward when you push. Or maybe you want to trade, so keeping the lane in the middle might be a good idea to allow for both engage and disengage. And if you want an all-in fight, letting your opponents push the wave just a little bit until you're ready to go in will give you the space you need. Also, you want to observe the way your opponents are trying to control aggression. If they are pushing heavily, they might be trying to deny you a fight, so pushing back can take advantage of it. You just want to gauge the way your opponents are controlling the lane and react to it accordingly, as not every opponent plays the same way, so you will have to take advantage in different ways versus different players. My name is Jeremy, and that's it for my video on how to control aggression in lane. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others on the screen, or stay connected at facebook.com slash gamingcurios. Drop a like, and make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content in the future. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.